Hello and welcome to the video for fifth grade for Monday, April the 27th. Uh, this is going to cover our uh, next lesson, which is working on metric units. So this is one that we will do a lot of next year. Um, actually, we'll have three or four different lessons next year that all deal with metric units of measurement uh, for volume, distance, and mass um, or weight. So let's go ahead and take a look. This particular chart is going to be a huge help to us um, as we work through the lesson and as we do the homework. So this is our base. So for um, distance, it would be a meter. For capacity or volume, it would be the liter. And for weight or mass, it would be a gram. And so as we go smaller, we could take that in one meter would be worth 10 decimeters, or if we do two zeros at the end, it would be worth 100 for centimeters. So 100 centimeters is equal to one meter. Um, millimeters would be thousandths. Um, and so we could pretend that we put a decimal point um, here kind of as well. So 1,000 of these would equal one of these. Um, 1,000 meters would be one kilometer. So uh, for our unlock the problem, we are figuring out what 15,000 meters is worth. So to get from meters to kilometers, we would be um, taking it times um, power of 10 three times. So we can uh, drop off three of those zeros, which are right here, and that would give us because this is going to be um, a smaller number. There are 1,000 meters in one kilometer, and it's three powers of 10 smaller. And so when we are done, uh, we could say that we are dividing. We are dividing by 1,000. Um, so we can do 15,000 divided by 1,000 and that gives us 15. Um, for this middle part, you're con converting from a smaller unit to a larger unit, so we are going to divide. If we're going from a larger unit to a smaller unit, we're going to multiply. Um, sorry, and this should be 15 kilometers for that. So um, taking a look at uh, the top of the next page, I don't remember if I included this with your packet. Um, we have 1.8 decimeters and we want to figure out how many millimeters. So um, we have a one for this and then an eight here. Um, so if we put a zero here, then we would end up with 180 millimeters. Um, so what they want us to do is to go ahead and cross out the decimal point and place it to show millimeters as the unit. So we would move this over two spots. And in doing so, we would write um, a zero up here uh, to fill that in. Um, let's see, we're not gonna worry about either of those for right now. Um, let's go ahead and take a look. Now I will be liberally jumping back and forth between this page and this page um, to make sure that I do not um, throw you off. Now, there is one issue with abbreviations. So let me show you. DECA, which is going to be larger unit of measurement than this, is DA. DESA, which is the smaller one, is just D. So for this one, we are going from um, decagrams, um, sorry, decigrams to decagrams. <laughs> uh, so we would be moving over to. So let's go ahead and take a look at number one. So we're going from liters to um, deciliters. And so if we have this, we are going to be multiplying by 10. And that would give us our uh, larger amount. 
and that would give us 84.7. I don't know why I drew it out some point there. Sorry about that. Um, leaders, um, to get to centiliters, we are going to be multiplying because we're going this direction by 100, and that would move our decimal point over two spots, and that would give us 847. And then if we are going from liters to milliliters, we are also multiplying, and so that would point over one to three spots, and then we would have to put a zero in there, and that would give us 8,470. So that's what we're working with for this. Anytime that we are working with unit conversions with the metric system, all we are doing is working with powers of 10. And we did lots of that at the beginning of the year. So uh, for centimeters to meters, we are gonna be going from here. And so our number is going to, for meters is going to be smaller by two factors of 10. So it'd be the same thing as starting here and moving our decimal point two spots to the left, just like we're moving on the table two spots to the left to get to meters. And so that would give us an answer of 42.5. Now in the interest of time, I'm probably going to stop writing every single thing um, just because it takes me a while to actually write. So if we're going from decigrams to centigrams, we are going from here to here, we are going to be multiplying by 10, and that would give us 40. Uh, number seven, we're going from kilometers to meters, we're going to be multiplying by 1,000, that would give us 5,000. Meters. Uh, number nine, we are going to compare. So we are going to say whether um, hectograms, 32 of them, are greater than, equal to, or less than 3.2 kilograms. So if we have Hg, we are way over here. Kilograms would be over here. So if we wanted to change from hectograms to kilograms, we would be dividing by 10 or moving our decimal point one spot to the left. That would show both of them being equal. I know um, that has been off screen because of my face. So if I'm going from here to here, I'm moving over one spot to the left with my decimal point, and those would be equal. Number 11, so milliliters to centiliters. We are gonna go from here to here. We're going over one spot to the left with our decimal point. Um, so to do that, if I go, um, sorry, if we're comparing, uh, going from milliliters to centiliters, we're actually going um, to the right. Um, nope, sorry, I was right the first time. <laughs> I'm thinking if this one was first and then saying the other. So milliliters to centiliters, we would be going uh, backward uh, one to here. So 525 milliliters, uh, would be equal to 52.5 centiliters. Um, so 525 on both centiliters would be the larger unit. So we would have less than for that. Um, number 13, I don't remember if I gave you guys this one because it's kind of a problem solving question. Um, I'll do it real quick just for fun. Um, so one kilometer is worth 1000 meters. Um, 100 centimeters is worth um, one meter. And so 5,000 centimeters, if we wanted to change it to meters, we could come back over here. Um, we would move our decimal point two spots to the left. And so that would give us 50 meters. So we have 100, 1,000, and 50. How many meters did he run? It would be 1,150. All right, so for the homework, we are just working with our comparisons. Make sure you keep either the first or second page 
uh, handy to do those. We are not converting uh, from metric to any kind of traditional unit that we are used to using. So hope that makes sense for you. We're just doing uh, simple conversions. We're using our powers of 10 for that. So if you have any questions, please feel free to ask in Google Classroom. I uh, hope you have a great day and I will see you on the, the next video, which will be uh, on Tuesday morning. So I will see you tomorrow.